Don't forget the ball sack. Tickle it with your fingers. Take it as much as you can and choke a little bit. <coughs> you gotta know when to blow him. Now. Know when to show him. Now. When no the. Do, 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 I have to do, agree to do, the UPS do, do. terms to track my foot. Fuck off. No when to give up that bussy for his birthday. In transit. Scheduled delivery October 7th. Fuck you. That's like three days from now. Uh. Come on, ladies. Come, uh, come on, ladies. <laughs> That's uh, just in time for Friday choppies. Is it Friday the 7th? It is only yes. Tuesday. Shit. Yeah. yeah. Friday choppy time. I don't want to go to a digital <clears throat> meeting. I always forget to run the ads on our break. Friday choppy. And that's why they ads. are auto forcing everyone to have ads because yeah. no one runs ads. Awesome. Everyone hates ads. Yeah, it's true. Ads are dumb. You muted me. You muted me, Dennis. I didn't. Well, I didn't mute me. We can hear you. Yeah, you're showing up on uh, the levels. Well, oh, Bean is high and he hit mute on his side. Uh, you're just really quiet. I can't hear you. No. We've changed nothing, Bean. We have changed nothing. Let me increase things again. Are your headphones plugged in, bud? Steve, talk. You. We have changed nothing. Let me turn it up a little more. And yeah, I can hear you perfectly fine. Yeah. Is it because I'm not doing my Bessie May voice, Bean? Ska. 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 I don't like ska. Anymore. Ska. Ska. I like ska. I mean, I used to. Ska, mm, my lady. Period. Ska, ska, my lady. I'm a butterfly. Sugar, hey. Ooh. Someone's got a 21 month sub anniversary. Oh, that's Jesus. Dennis. Because <laughs> I just hit the button. Oh, thanks, Denny. Figured, you know. Is that an actual sub or is that your Amazon sub? Amazon. It's like two it's bucks. Five, but I thought you got five. No, they no it's it. 250 yeah, for bro. now. Yeah, they keep fucking it. Bro, that sucks. They're making it worse. So yeah. A lot of people are leaving Twitch and going to YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we should do that too. You hear that, Jeff Bezos? It's not a bad idea, considering that for the live shows, we don't interact with the crowd, so we don't need to worry about the latency so much. Yeah. Could do Streamlabs and just multi to YouTube and We Twitch. can't, because we have signed an agreement with Twitch, since we are... Um, Affiliate? Affiliated, yeah, a, that you a, can a, only stream on one platform. At a time. Oh. Yeah, we, wow. We can't, we can't give other platforms the same live content we give Twitch. Wow. Twitch. So um, we would have to leave Twitch altogether... But we might be able to do TikTok and YouTube at the same time. We probably shouldn't be discussing this live on Twitch. Probably. Well, it's just a thought. <laughs> now they have evidence. Damn it. No, I mean, people have been talking about it on their live shows constantly. Oh, yeah. But yeah, yes, I mean, as I agree, Steve, this is a conversation for the five of us to have offline. Correct. I'm sorry. I thought this was America. It still is. It was. The country oh! folks will survive. Get them. I could also talk to Bill since he left Twitch two years ago. Come, my Billy. Come, come, my Billy. I mean, does he still have a full-time job? He's still a teacher, yeah. Well, must not be going great. <laughs> Stop doxing Bill. His, uh, to say that he's a Bill teacher. Bill the teacher. Will, find a William who's a teacher. <laughs> you got him. You've he, already narrowed the field down. Um, but no, Bill, his YouTube is at... 38,000 subscribers? Oh. Shit, shit. Well, why the fuck is he teaching? Because that's not enough to make a living. Hey, on. get wrecked. <laughs> we'll never. Get... Are you saying that we're we're not anywhere close to doing this full time? Mm. Yeah. We Previously. are one <laughs> winning lottery ticket away. No, we haven't started the recording yet. That's we true, we have Previously. Previously on Distractions. Hit the button in five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. <laughs> I hit it early. You bitch. About one second early. You bitch. So now you know. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll send uh, some messages when we get offline to people's. He won't. <clears throat> <laughs> he, he didn't. We'll do it now. Previously. Show you. Hey. Previously on... <laughs> Man, the health insurance situation in this nightmarish western hellscape <laughs> fantasy land is 
marginally better than that of modern day America. It looks like uh, I'm gonna have to partake in some less than completely honest advertising to finance my getting this giant stick out of my friend. Welcome back, listeners, to the seventh episode of our seventh season. Thanks for tuning in again. We are going to start exactly where we left off last time, as the Doctor is trying to get Besame to pose for advertisement uh, pictures to go alongside the milk that he is going to take. Now, another question. Do you have to refrigerate cowboy milk? Or I usually don't get that far. I don't know. It's best it go, like how long does it go back? Well, it's it again. best straight from the source, but uh, I don't know, man. Like uh, probably like it a couple of days unpasteurized. Can you make Whoa. a cheese out of it? Grilled cheese. Yeah. yeah, you can make a you can make a healing grilled cheese that would sell like hot cheese. grilled cheese. That sounds like way too much work. What about cheddar cheese biscuits? Of also healing. too much work. Dehydrated milk powder. Of healing. It works forever. You just snort it. That's not a bad idea. Right? Ugh. I'm going to have to look into that. Okay, how many, uh, and he, he pulls out like a box of vials. He's like, how many of these can you fill up in one go? Whew. Uh, about four. Four. How big are they, though? They're just, just, I don't know, like a couple shots worth, maybe. Okay. So, not too, too much liquid, but, um... I mean, I'm definitely not taking that log out of there for just four vials of, you know, cowboy milk. Well, he can come back and you can milk him again tomorrow. Well, I say he stays with me for the rest of the night and we just milk him every uh, so often. I don't feel... You guys can stay here too. No, you I You guys can help me. First, first off, it's not my decision. Each I one... Yes, he may, but... There's four of us. Each of us holding the other. We can, you know, yank at the same time. I don't I don't like that. Make yeah, eye contact. And I just come back in the morning. What? After I don't know if you've... Had some rest. There's no guarantee that you'll come back here. What if I stay? This town's yeah, full of criminals. There's no guarantee of anything in life. Okay. I can stay while you watch over me. I mean, you... God, I'm not... Look, you got, I'll fill like... these vials up now. You fix my friend, and I will come back and continue to help you. You got, like, I'll errands? let him suffer while we milk me. Word is bond. All right. Actually, he's going to insight. Persuade. I mean, we're, we're telling the truth. We I am being to. completely truthful. You seem like a completely honest and uh, trustworthy person. I'm also very tall. Sure. Uh, oh, before I get into the whole cutting thing, uh, let's take this picture. So I need you to make a face that basically sells your your milk. Your milk. Your milk. Your milk. Your milk. <laughs> your milk, <laughs> milk. <laughs> your milk. milk. What the hell does that mean? I Can we just my make a slur? <laughs> I mean, I'm not really feeling it. Can I show you, off make, the, the teeth. Make your cummy face, because that's what we're selling it for. <laughs> yeah, like, you, it's got to be able, like, someone needs to look at this picture and think, man, I need that thing's milk in my mouth right now. So wait, wait. I put on my best Giga Chat face. And you're selling Okay. You're selling this as a, uh, a floppy wiener cure? I'm just going to sell it as a lot of things. Well, you could take a picture of us, too, with... With, uh, with hot dicks? erections, <laughs> yeah. With he's gonna he's gonna use my face to lie, Ned. With erections, and that you can see that the wiener slime is leaking through. Okay. The well, pants. You're gonna need to hold that around. Uh, well, first off, you can't because <laughs> if you get an erection, you're gonna die. Okay. Well, he he can. <laughs> I can get like, I can get erections die. for both of us. I can smell his slime, slimy wiener from here. Well, that's true. Okay. Well, I guess I could settle for one wiener, but you're gonna need to keep that bona for. 15 minutes. I think Do I Do can... not move for 15 minutes. <laughs> I, I think... Keep that thing throbbing for 15 do have, minutes. Do you have a magazine or something? Oh, no. I got magazine. I got pic I got brain pictures. Can I got you past do it? experiences as I can... Okay. Let's can find out. He, he, gets, he takes the little the thing out on wheels, and he, he gets behind the curtain. He's like, okay. So I'm going to have my hand up, and then when I put it down, that means hold the pose. Hold. For 15 minutes. And he... he he actually points over to a clock. He's like, "It's behind, it's directly behind me, so you don't have to move. You don't have to change your pose. You can still look at it <laughs> while keeping your pose, so you know exactly how long it's been." Okay. I'll put finger guns. I'll put <laughs> finger guns up at his dick. 
<laughs> I'm That's sure also hey, fine. Peck would be so proud of us right now. That's fine. Make sure you get those uh, those nice uddies right yeah, in the, the pick. dripping uddies. I bet Heck wishes they were here so bad. Oh All my right. God. And hold. So roll me a con check to hold your. Well, a Willie needs to roll me a con Willie, check. What to are you thinking about? Hold an erection. Fifteen. Uh, Fifteen plus five is twenties. You are hard as a rock. Like, like a up rock. In a, like, it's not. I the was most hard as I could be. But it's fine. <laughs> uh, I rolled a twelve. Bessame, yours is less labor intensive, so for right now you're okay. Five minutes goes by, no problems whatsoever. Roll me another con check. 16. Fuck yeah. Also 16. You guys are fucking, you're just, it's fine. Like, what is this? What is time? I don't Would it help know. if I moaned? I'm already in the zone. Ah! <laughs> uh, one more con check. Oh, that looks okay. 23. Fuck yeah. 11. Besame, you're starting to you're starting to get a little oh, tired. The finger guns, oh, finger the guns are, are going weak. down a little bit. Uh, so high fin- or low? Finishing strong is what I do I best. I don't know how much longer I can hold I these can finger gun. guns. <laughs> Besame, high or low? I can't low. raise them. You managed to all roll on just long enough as this bright. <laughs> This bright flash goes off, and then like an explosion almost of like it's fire. It's like Terminator 2, but finger guns. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so it's just... <laughs> and uh, it goes, perfect. That was perfect. I'm going to sell so much of your mook. Your mook milk. What the fuck is a mook, <laughs> old man? Mook. I, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm branding it as. I'm worried. Mook I'm, milk. I'm worried it's I a racial like slur that we keep repeating. Hey, you want to be a mook? Drink this milk. You, milk milk. You uh, want to be hard, don't you? <laughs> want to be hard like this guy, right? You got to drink this other guy's milk. Milk <laughs> milk. <laughs> so he's like, all right. Apparently it means a stupid or incompetent person. Yeah. He's like, all right. Here's the vials. That. You didn't know that? That's I, an Italian phrase. I've only ever heard of Mookie Betts. No, come on. Mookie. Look at this mook it's right a baseball here. baseball player. All right, I, I squirt a full teat into each vial. Okay, he seals them up. Uh, and he puts them in what appears to be like a an ice chest or something, like something. What's you an ice chest? It, it, you get a block of ice. It keeps it cold. You make it into a square. Make it into a square. It's mostly ice. It's a chest. It keeps things cold. Neat. Yeah. Sounds really useful. Ah, uh, for keeping milk from spoiling. You got like a uh, errands that we could do to help. Cut down on our debts. So wait, hold on, Willie. I'm I mean, already <laughs> milking myself dry for I this mean, man. If, Don't. If, you, if you want to offer me some more services, uh, you know. Well, that's I fine. mean, like if we can, like you got your milk right now. Sure. If uh, is well, there like some milk? Well, that's what I'm saying. If I do some errands for you around town, could it cut down on the milk you need to extract from my uh, friend? No, I'm gonna definitely need two more orders of milk. Okay. Well, then I'm not gonna do anything. Then okay. we're just gonna. I'll you, keep feeding. You want to watch? I know, but I'll get like I'll go out and get some like fruit and some water for old Bessie May. You're going out with that thing in your pants. Get some salt packets. <laughs> I need electrolytes. All right, I'll get you a like a, a liquid IV <laughs> to help you out a little bit. And a white noise machine. Oh, what? I got that. <laughs> I I can do that longer than I can hold That'd this erection. My sleep. And yes. Yes, Ned. Uh, <laughs> Proudly into the streets. I, these are some skin tight pants. <laughs> My pants got so much smaller. I am not getting rid of this. I'm going to show you how long I can hold this for. Just walk out in the street and shout, They weren't going to do anything about this. <laughs> and point at it. Toodaloo. Thanks for that mook milk, Doc. Uh, so uh, he goes, All right, then. Uh, time for the procedure. Oh uh, yeah, that's gonna hurt. Just watch, f- watch out for the blood on the floor. Just go in there, and uh, if you'd like, you could strap yourself in. Otherwise, I guess I could do it. But make sure you strap yourself into the one where it doesn't have a back. Yeah, I do that, and maybe I take a vial of milk in case I'm about to die. Sure. No, that means. <sighs> that means he's gotta make me another vial. Oh, he's I don't wanna, make another vial. You tr- you, he makes it on the regular. I said, you, I said you're gonna have. I said I was going to have to use a healing potion. Okay, okay. Well, then keep potion. the milk. I'll yeah. take the healing potion because okay. I don't want to be hard like Willie all the time. So hot. It's an inconvenience for everybody but me. <laughs> so, 
Uh, you go into his medical room. There's nobody else in here with you. Uh, it is a horror show in here. There is oh, blood wow. everywhere. There's a bucket of amputated limbs mm. over in the corner. Uh, it doesn't look like those are ripe. That it doesn't look like they're all fresh. So it's probably been a few days since he's they're emptied not fresh. his fresh. They're his, naughty. His leg bucket. He didn't gnaw them off. They're naughty legs. Naughty legs <laughs> and arms. Gang, gang. Um. I hate it. And the thing that you're strapped into doesn't have a back on it. And you see that he, he picks up this big wooden mallet. He's like, okay, I'm going to need you to hold. That's comically large, sir. Very st- it's it's not just comically large. It's uh, practically large. So I'm going to need you to just sit perfectly. So like, you have, do you have like a Pilates machine that I could just strap into? Uh, nope. That's the, the device that you're currently just tied to right All now. All right. Yeah. Should I flex or let go nope. of the limp? I would, uh, I would say clench. Don't <laughs> clench and do not, like, just don't move. Just stay as loose as you can. So if you clench, your guts are just going to shoot out of the hole, okay? Uh, do you have any whiskey? Yeah, I'm drinking it. Can I have some? I'll trade you. Uh, Hi, low. I was going to just offer you some shotgun shells. I don't want any shotgun shells. Low. Uh, no, this is the Doc's whiskey. Jesus Christ. I need this hey, whiskey to perform. You haven't hit that high low all night. Keeps my hands I from know. shaking. Do you want me to do you want me to just do it like a con check to not move or Sure. I got a fucking ten. Okay. It's pretty <laughs> we'll good. See. You know what's gonna end up being. I, I do. <laughs> and I haven't gotten one all night. Uh, the doc, though, he's he's really good at what he does. For the and, first time he's done this, and you, you feel like you feel his cold, like skeletal hands on on your back because he's okay. he stripped you. Kind of reminds uh, me of my. It causes you to shudder a little. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. my Elvish calm master. Down, calm down. This is going to be, you know, just breathe in with me, breathe out. I'm going to hit it on the count of, and he just smacks it out with the <sighs> hammer, uh, and it just goes. And just shoots across the room and lodges in the wall. He's like, "Whoa, it's a keeper!" And uh, he I was uh, hit a gong. He immediately plugs it with a bunch of gauze because blood just starts flowing out of you. Is this where like, I drink the potion, man? Yeah, he has like a little like a little hamster thing next to your face that you can. So yeah, so you you drink on that as he plugs up the the wound. He's like, "All right, so now what I got to do is I got to watch this. So while your flesh heals, I just remove some of the gauze because otherwise this is going to heal up." With the gauze in your wounds. So let me just do another medicine check to make sure that I don't... No flesh eels for me, man. Uh, it's all right. It's fine. Does right. it look fine? <laughs> uh, he's he's very drunk at this point, so he's very shaky. You want me to help move that gauze? No, it's fine. Okay, it sounds fine. right to me. You just uh, you will just keep drinking that, that, red, that red goo. Uh, keep drinking see. that ragu. <laughs> Like four cheese? Uh, it or? doesn't taste very good at all. Like, it, it tastes kind of... Spoiled? Not spoiled, almost like stale. Like Roasted uh, garlic. Typically, in your experience, healing potions taste like fruit punch. Mm. Uh, but this tastes like fruit punch that's been like left potpourri. out for, like, a few months. So it's Wine just... punch. Uh, well, I got no other recourse. I'm strapped in. Let me do, like, a con check? Or... Wine or slime. Uh, but so you are suckling on this red juice as he he's patching you up, and it takes like a about an hour for this whole procedure to go, and you feel perfectly fine when it's all said and done. And he's just oh. like, "Whoo, another successful surgery." By the way, if you if you got any limbs you don't want anymore, I got a bucket. No, of I need them. I'm more than happy to take them off your hands. Yeah. I'm an investigator, sir. Oh, okay. What do you investigate? Uh. Stuff that makes me feel important. Don't don't we all? Yep. I just want I just want to make myself feel like I'm making the world a safer, more verdant place. Um. Well, I mean, good luck with good luck to you, son. I, uh, I don't think you're gonna be able to do much, but uh, good luck to you. By the way, I got uh, I got some extra turkey in the fridge. If you, you want some, I got some imported. Uh, which, <laughs> which from was, the future? Is it future turkey? <laughs> future turkey? Oh, I mean, it's gonna I've be got, in my belly in the future. I got so much to tell you. 
Um, and I lay down the... We've actually been thinking... This town's actually been thinking about importing turkeys to try and raise them. Oh, no. I, that's I wouldn't do that. <laughs> and I, I lay down my, uh, my turkey pox theory about the future and how I was born this year and that uh, I have to stop the turkey pox from spreading across the lands. I persuade him. Sure, roll persuasion. With a 16. Holy shit. Yeah. All right, I guess I'm not eating that turkey. I wouldn't. And you should stop anyone who wants to raise turkeys with maximum force. You want me to you want me to murder anybody who tries to raise turkeys? No, I mean like try to convince them first, but like don't That's be like afraid 97% to escalate. That's like 97% of the farmers here. I know, it's this was problem. Do you want me to kill all those the farmers? On the only just thing to do is to stop the turkeys before they're born. <laughs> but Turkey abortions. <laughs> but, but the turkeys they're bringing in have already been born. You got to cut them up, Doc. I mean, carve. You got to carve them up, Doc. I mean, I want to I wanted eat the turkeys. Well, a dead turkey isn't a turkey that propagates in the future. So you got to hard boil those eggs, too, and find a way to market them. Ma okay. So what you're saying Pickle is those eggs. murder every turkey that comes in, eat them all immediately. Yeah. Okay. Don't let them. Don't let them breed, Doc. Don't let the turkeys breed. <laughs> then no one likes my Rocky joke with me. All right. Sure. Don't <laughs> let them breed, Doc. <laughs> Kurt will like it. Yeah. yeah. Kurt, it's, uh, that one was for Kurt. Um, he's like, okay. Yeah. You know what? I'm convinced. Uh, turkeys are bad. Uh, I'm a chicken man from now on. Yeah. Me too. It's not like there's a chicken box. No, not one that wipes out villages around the elf towns. 50, 30 years from now. How did you come back in time? There was a white light after I passed out when I was sweating really hard. What? And then when I woke up, the town was gone. You were sweating? What were you doing that you were sweating real hard? Exercising. It was like a fever. Ex <laughs> but it, then there was a white light and I passed out. Wait, so did you bring back turkey pox? You gotta test me, but I don't think so. No one else has gotten how do sick. I, how do I? What is the test for turkey pox? It doesn't exist yet. Well, you would get sick if you were around me, and I was like Turkey Mary or something. Turkey. <laughs> Waddle Mary. Waddle Mary. Uh, let's see. How how long does it take before you get sick? A day or two, Jeez. and then you get. Do you see this scar on my neck? Yeah, I thought it was a vagina. It's a no. It's a, <laughs> it's a goiter pox scar. <laughs> And it'll I, swell with pus. I thought you were just doing like a secondary job and you were tired. No. <laughs> Throw pus. <laughs> it's, a func it's a functional tracheotomy. <laughs> Give me that sweet, sweet throat pie. I got a gag reflex. Just bypass it. You should probably quarantine. Bypass the teeth. Go straight to the hole. <laughs> straight to the hole. You should probably quarantine for a day or two. Well, I can't quarantine. I gotta. I gotta. I'm the only doc in town. Well, that's how it's spreads. Moog milk. Also, I gotta move this milk. I can sell the milk for you. Uh, what if we just put a mask on you? Sure. Okay. I'm not a doctor. What's a mask? <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, maybe like some fishnet across your face. <laughs> that, yeah, I could, you know, that's fine. I'll put something. So, holes are all right? Okay, that's fine. Because I need to breathe. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe a bandana. Or a diaper. <laughs> Some kind of face diaper. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll put a... And if you mass produce them, we can sell them to everybody. <laughs> I'll put an unused face face diaper around my face. Okay. Great. Thanks. Uh, all right. Well, you're free to go. You, uh, you're you all patched up. You're just fine and daily. So, Thanks. Uh, I'm going to expect uh, two more orders of uh, the old milk before you guys leave town. That's yeah. the only, only right thing to do. I'll squeeze it I'll out of them. I'll fill you Buttercup. Now we're talking. All right. Bye. And he just waves you out of the building. Well, he was really nice. Ned, we need to go find a place to rest so I can recharge my milkies. Yeah, we should. There was that place with the really friendly ladies. We could go there. Uh, I, I, I second that. We should probably go there. They They're had probably beds. really good at helping <laughs> people sleep. I was like, why would Willie want to go? And then I'm like, oh. 
I know. Just, <laughs> and, and out of nowhere, chickens comes and just perches. On your boner. <laughs> chickens comes. Starts pecking at it. No, he don't peck at it. He just rips his claws into it so he don't move he's got around that, He's still got that razor blade on his beak, right? Wait, do birds orgasm? I, I mean, I assume. I'd, okay, Google. <laughs> do birds come? I mean, they have to come. I mean, they got to come. <laughs> I mean, they, they make... They lay eggs. The one does. That doesn't mean it has to be like pleasant. I, mean, I didn't ask how they made. I asked ducks if they have, come. Ducks have to. <laughs> orgasm. Say ducks orgasm. Have dicks, so I assume they come. Yeah, they wouldn't do it if it didn't feel good, right? <laughs> According to Tim Burkhead, who sounds like a weird ass bird watcher. <laughs> Who knows whether it feels like a human, but the external behavior looks like it. <laughs> so right. they're not pooping on my car. My car's just full yeah. of birds. Every come. time come. Yeah, the birds are just coming all over your windshield. Birds God come, damn it. or at least red-billed buffalo come, weavers come, do. Come, come, come. <laughs> you think it's calm, but it's come. <laughs> Quote Fucking the rain. Weird ass never <laughs> Sheffield Quote the University Ravens. Department of Animal Plants. Come me more. Come me more. <laughs> come me more. Come me more. Did I square it on the floor? Did I come on your car? <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine him in a bush with binoculars being like, look, kids, that, that bird's about to come. <laughs> Let's it's imagine. It's, it's college. So sure. it's, yeah, college it's adults. Kids. Sure. Yeah. He's not grooming. Okay. For what? We gotta find Bird an fuckers? end. We gotta find an end. Sure. Yeah, we well, want to go to sleep. And then an out. And then an in and an out. So it looks like so the saloon that you had pointer. passed by with the very friendly ladies uh, definitely looks like it's one of the smaller saloons. The biggest saloon is right dead center of the town, and it's got you know big letters on it that says uh, wait waiters. Casino. Waiters, casino, I'm not sure saloon, we want to go and hookatorium. We want to sleep first. Yeah, I, I think we should go to the small mom and pop place. Support local business. And I, ask about them. I, I don't, I kind of want to, you know, I mean, you, you're all tired. I, I mean, you've been drained of your essence and you've got a fucking gauze hole. I'm required to recover I, from I, surgery. I'm not, I'm, I'm just not tired yet. Well, we can go My to bed. My blood's pumping pretty hot right now. <laughs> and you can stay out till 5 a.m. and then have really weird energy for the rest of the week. That's fine. <laughs> I think I can do that. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> a little turkey pox. Nothing hurt nobody. Too much cum. I got to get rid of it. It's starting to back up. It, it's not that. <clears throat> I just, I'm feeling lucky right now. <laughs> so, wait, where are you going? I think they're going to the mom and pop sleepatorium. And you want to go to the casino? I want to go to the Clams Casino. Okay. Let's start with the mom and pop's uh, fuckatorium. So when you make Sleep your, shack. Sure, the sleep shack. When the you head back over shack. there, the two same women, they're like, oh, hello, hey. welcome back. I lost my wood. Oh, well, that's probably better. Yeah. Um, do you have, like, is? can I go to sleep here? I'm real tired, and so is my buddy. Um. Yeah, I mean, they, they look disappointed. They're like, yeah, I guess we sell rooms. Do you think you I could... also like cuddles? Yeah, I mean we do offer amazing cuddle service. Maybe you I could... love cuddles. Could and you read me a story? For extra. Oh, no. What about a book reading? I like I like it when it, there's, someone reads me a book and I fall asleep to it. As long as you don't like emote the yells too loud, because then it wakes me up again. That's a pretty high dollar ask because not a lot of us can read. I've so... got two gold. Two gold. That's not even gonna get you a room. Uh, be a, I have two gold read. after the room. I will read to you for two gold. Is there like an alley trash that I can sleep in? Yeah, yeah. you can sleep in the alley trash. <laughs> While you read to me? Uh, you know what? I'll open a window and I'll I'll read it out to you because oh, I don't want to be better. in the alley. Um, how much, how much room? room? Yeah. Room is uh, five gold. I've got five gold. Me too. Okay. <laughs> you said two. I said I have two after the room. For oh, the reading. Okay, so seven gold for you. And do you need any of those extra services like cuddles? I would like cuddles. C cuddles. Nothing else. No touching on your part. Just cuddles. One gold for cuddles. Yeah, that's some good discount cuddles. <laughs> <laughs> I've only got money for reading. So you, wait, you do or do not have enough money for the room? I have enough money for the room and the reading, and then. No I cuddles. mean, technically, I have enough money for two cuddles, but I don't want to spend it on cuddles. <laughs> okay. 
and I don't want to tell them that I have more Cuddles money. Cuddles sounds like a really creepy clown. Cuddles the clown. <laughs> I'm Cuddles. <laughs> Uh, so, Besame, you notice that there is a very a large woman um, who is coming to cuddle with you. And she's got very large, burly arms, but w- you're the small spoon in this uh, scenario. But you notice Hell yeah. as soon as she envelops you, oh my goodness, you feel safe. And it is she's so... built like a barbecue smokehouse. Exactly. <laughs> you know what? She smells a little smoky, too. Fuck yeah. Yeah. So it's a, it's you a... smell like steakums, lady. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Small spoon's my favorite. Out of character. Enjoy these cuddles. She just smells like Paul Malls. I feel like I'm sleeping with a bag of dog treats. <laughs> Wood chips. Paul Malls this and beef jerky. <laughs> uh, Ned. <laughs> Jersey diet. They read to you uh, the little engine that could... Um, the little Nedjin. The little Nedjin that could. Nedjin. Nedjin. Yeah. Thanks then, for correcting the words for me, lady. Can you can you read a little bit in the voice of the character? Chugga 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 chugga. I think I can. I think I can. I think I'm Ned. I, I think, think I'm Ned. Ned. I think I'm Ned. Let's do I it. I am Ned. Gloop, gloop. Gloop, gloop. I fall asleep. The turkeys had wired the bridge with plastic explosives. <laughs> <laughs> but that's when the turkeys came. And they murdered everyone on that train. Oh, except for Ned. Well, we don't know what if you're having a nightmare. So let's... No one knows what became of Ned. High or low? Low. Uh, your train is being slowly overrun by turkeys. You notice that... As you, uh, the train that you're riding, the little engine that could. The turkeys have taken the trolley. They've taken it over car by car, and you notice that they're, they're taking the bar car. The turkeys, they like, they they're just like sicker, and like put their feathers on the faces of people, and like they just come down with turkey pox, and they're just, they just start. Is Stephen King's turkey pox? <laughs> That's right. Dude. We cannot get out. They've taken the trolley. It's they've Steph- taken the bar car. Stephanie Queen. Yeah. It's slowly <laughs> making its way towards the front where you're the conductor. On gobbles. That. Gobbles in the back. <clears throat> you see one turkey with an eye patch. Uh, you you know that's uh, Gobbles. Gobbles. And it's uh, it's slowly making gobble its way goo. towards you. I wish and the Gobble King would take you away right the now. Goblin king. The Goblin King. And like Two most bees. of your dreams, right as the turkey's about to touch you and infect you with turkey pox, you wake up. <gasps> And it's the next day. It's in the morning. The person's no longer there. The book is still sitting there on the chair. But, uh... No. No? No. Got another three minutes before 30. We want to go early. That'd be weird. I mean, okay. I get up and I go get Besame out of his spoon man. Besame is... Looks so cozy. All just... Mm curled up in uh, that. I do a ferocious turkey gobble at them to wake him up. Do it. <laughs> uh, I fear no turkey! <laughs> oh, Ned. <coughs> I was dreaming of ribs. The lady doesn't wake up. She's sound That's asleep. how you cuddle a lady, Ned. I have She's never so cuddled a lady. She wake up. Meanwhile, last night... Willie at the casino. So, Willie, when you That's go... That's not what meanwhile means. I know. Well, meanwhile, while you guys were doing stuff. I forgot about it. So. Meanwhile, while we take a break, we'll cut to the casino. Sure. So, <laughs> <laughs> so when you get to the casino, you notice that there are uh, two <laughs> fairly burly <laughs> gentlemen <laughs> hanging outside the door. Hey. Sorry. Are you doing the, the Sonic? The yeah. Yeah, the Sonic. You trying to get in this place? You got any money on you? <clears throat> Are you yeah, freeloader? I, no, no. We I hate I, freeloaders. I got monies I'm looking to lose. Well, that's two gold at the door to get in. All right. Each of us. <laughs> well, all right. I guess if we're doing that. No, I'm not coming in for four gold. Well, all right. That goes right to you. I, you're guaranteed I, I to win to in here, you. so, you know, four gold is nothing. No, you guaranteed. know what? Guaranteed. <laughs> Let me strike you a deal. I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Oh, that's, that is two gold to me right now, and then on your way out after you've won, you give him the other two. What gold. is this jersey? I got to pay going out. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the deal. Look, that man. way, you know, you you know, you wouldn't lost that money. Oh, that's true. And I, right. ain't, I ain't touching that hard on. Uh, yeah, what the hell is it? You that's a 
fucking dangerous weapon. You better watch where you're walking around. I have it concealed. It's, it's, I have it concealed. It is crowded in there. If if someone turns around the wrong time, this is going to turn into a real sticky situation. Well, you know what? It could or it couldn't, but I'm just trying to get some slut machines going on, so let's go. We don't have any slut machines. I said slot machines. We don't have that either. What's a slot machine? Oh, you know, you like put a nickel in and you win like- What's a nickel? We you got, put a silver in and then you get what's like- What's silver? Oh, come on. <laughs> We got it's poker. These... I'm not trying to poker. No. Have you seen this thing going on right now? <laughs> it's all about the poker. I, th- I we got, can't take my eyes we off got it. blackjack. We got uh, uh, craps. We got preachers poker. hold'em. We got Ralph, preachers hold'em. You got a uh, roulette. Yes, that's my game. All right, here's your two gold, and I'll get you going out. If you don't, you're gonna owe me. I got you, sir. So you, he takes the two gold and he ushers you inside. Uh, it is very, very well lit. It is also, there's music going on in the background, very lively music. Dennis, have you been in a casino? Uh, no. Mike's bachelor party? Okay. I'm thinking of, uh, um, I didn't, was not invited to Mike's bachelor party. Um, hmm. I shouldn't have been. The, <laughs> I'm a terrible friend. <laughs> uh, no, Sorry, I, I, I'm going off of uh, the casinos that I've seen in Westerns. Got it. Yeah. Like in uh, that one with... Um, Crestrons. Shit. Uh, Kurt Russell and Val Kilmer. Tombstone. 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 Where we're at? Well, yeah. No, <laughs> hey, I get the reference. Let's go. And as you enter into the saloon slash casino slash fuckatorium, uh, that is where we're going to take a break. And we're back. All right. So when you go in, it's super crowded. There are at least 100 people in here. Uh, there are multiple tables of what appears to be cards, dice. There's even a table towards the back of uh, Five Finger Filet. I think that's what it is. Yep. Five Finger Filet. You're going off of uh, the casinos in uh, Red, Dead. Red Dead. Yep. Uh, that one's a little more shady, because so they, they keep it off to the back or whatever. But there are a, a number. a cloud of smoke over top sure. of the... Of our, yeah. all of the tables, there's yeah. a cloud of smoke. There's a lot Good. of cigars going on around here. So, yeah. So you notice, and there's also all types of people in here. There are humans, there are dwarves, there are elves, there are dragonborn. Uh, You don't see any bovineborn, but, yeah. You also see what appears to be, the the bartender looks like it's a goblin. Hey, what are you drinking? I didn't go up to that bar. <laughs> he just yells at you. He makes eye contact like a carny. Hey! Yeah, he's carnival. He's <laughs> I'm talking barking. to you. He's uh, talking drinks. That That's fine. Uh, you can talk all you want, but I, I ain't listen no good. I'm going to survey kind of the... Tequila. And then I take it and I drink uh, Hold on. Are drinks here free? No. <laughs> Dennis needs to go to Dennis a casino. Dennis needs to go to a casino, yeah. One gold to drink. Well, then I am not drinking. <laughs> I am here to play. Well, then I will. Fine. I'm going to survey the um, the entire like security detail here. Sure. With a 10. Uh, you don't see a ton of security. Uh, it just looks like a bunch of... There are some people just standing around. There's a lot of people at tables. There's are there like people... runes up in the corners and above each table? Uh, no, you don't really see anything like that. Okay. Um, but yeah, with a 10, you don't really notice anything out of the ordinary. Just a bunch of people playing games. Um, some tables have more people than others, but yeah, that's all you notice. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to nestle up next to one of these roulettes. Okay. And, uh, just kind of observe a little bit to see how the wheel's rolling. Okay. I don't want to put money down yet. I got to see, kind of get a lay of how, uh, you know, things are spinning. Sure. Uh, so, you know, it's the first time it goes around. Uh, it's on red. And it's red. What does it go up to? 100? Yes. And 100 is green. Okay. Red 21. Okay. And then it goes around again. Next time's red again. 87. Okay. This time it's black. Black 86. Going one more time just to kind of... Red 79. One more time. Just get a base of five down. 
Red 66. Big okay. Red? Big Red seems to be all coming up all now. Now, I'm going to... Oh. Uh... Hi, I'm Big Red. What? Uh, do you work here or are you gambling? Nah, I'm always gambling here. Uh, all right, what's their bird policy here? No birds allowed. Oh. Don't need them coming all over the tables. All right. <clears throat> You'll have... And uh, I, du- I, like, pull my, 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 my duster up. You're going to have to come in here for a little bit. You ain't no welcome in here, chickens. But what do you think? What do you think? You thinking red's been coming up a lot? I think black is too. What do you think? All right, I'm gonna put a stack of gold down on. What's a stack? Five. Okay. Five gold on black. Okay. Big red's let it ride on red. Uh, and it is indeed black ninety five. Oh, how much money did Big Red just lose after getting red five times in a row before that? Um. Red probably would have lost about 20 gold. Woo! Baby! How, how much gold did I win off of that five bet? Ten. Okay, so it doubled up? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck two gold away in my pocket. Now you're just playing with profit. Because I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to get beat up as I leave this place. Sure. So what's the, what's the haps, Big Red? What's going on in this casino? Well, yeehaw. I'm here betting. Uh, like, are you from here? Are you just visiting? Are I ain't you... no one from here. I mean, somebody's got to be from here. They got to own the buildings and whatnot. Well, the the brothers is from here, technically. I, I got no more information than you do because voice and head ain't tell us. <laughs> well, okay. Well, I guess if you're just going to keep on gambling, I don't want to break your streak. You seem like a fun... Uh, f- is I'm... your hand lucky? You just touched me with that lucky hand? I touched... Y- yeah... Look. What are you betting on? Oh wow! Look. That's throbbing. Everything I touch you can turns see your heartbeat. to it turns to gold, <laughs> and I, I have just blessed you with the the the. Well, you got a golden dong. I mean, I've been told multiple things before, but I don't like to talk about it in public. All right, well, what are you betting on? You you know what? I am not betting again right now. I'm gonna go. Um. What would it's, you? It's, what would you bet? What right would now? I bet on? Um. Uh, Red 43. Big Red's betting on red. I don't care about the walk away. Okay. Uh, red just lost uh, 20 gold. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> um, so what I kind of want to do here, sure. voice and head, is I, I kind of want to grab some intel okay. about the brothers and and what kind of business they're running and, and their reputation and all that inside this casino. Uh, so... It's pretty easy to tell which table has the three brothers because uh, one brother's sitting down at the table. He's the person who's dealing the cards. This is the uh, the uh, it's a blackjack table. It looks like is he real sweaty? Uh, no, he's not real spe- uh, sweaty, and he does not have any spaghetti either. Big uh, mustache. Yes, very big handlebar mm-hmm. mustache. Mm-hmm. Uh, dressed in all black. You notice that there are two other gentlemen who look similar in terms of like they have very similar handlebar mustaches um, on either side of them. And you notice that each of them are holding like a shotgun and they, they just have this like death glare that they're just staring at everybody. And everybody at the table seems to be having an okay time, but they're also very uneasy. And uh, yeah, they're just playing blackjack. However, you notice that um, the dealer tends to win a lot more than... Anybody playing. Like, it's not even close. Why would you even play at that table? Because you want to be near... Uh, the brothers. The brothers. Oh, it's, a, it's like an audience. Yeah. You just pay pay to play. Yeah. All right. And that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be going table to table to kind of do calculations on, like, statistical wins from the house to players. And if there's somebody that's really down on their luck and, like, getting angry at this place, I'm going to probably uh, pull them aside to a quieter corner and talk to them. Oh, yeah. It's very easy to find uh, people who are not doing very well and losing their money. And there's one individual who's pretty drunk, um, hair's all ragged, uh, clothes are looking, he's just constantly like adjusting his clothes, very sweaty, uh. and uh, he's just, just he's trying the roulette table. Uh, at first, you you notice he he does a couple times. He says, Gah! and then moves over to a different blackjack table, tries that, fuck, and then just keeps moving table to table trying to win something. 
uh, and just keeps on losing. I'm gonna go up to the bar. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll take I'll take like um, you know what? What's your strongest drink you got here right now? Shine. I'll take two pints of shine. It's two gold. And I I flick <clears throat> the goblin his gold. <clears throat> And I'm just gonna sit back on this on this stool, okay. and and keep watching this uh, this <clears throat> this loser. Are you gonna drink this shine? Not until he uh, gets fed up okay. with with wasting his money away. Uh, you notice that he has one gold piece, okay. and he keeps going back and forth between tables, and like he looks like he did no no, and then goes to another one, and then looks like he's about to have a nervous breakdown, and just goes over to the bar and sits down. And he's just holding onto that one gold coin and just crying. I'm gonna I'm gonna slide up to him and take the seat next to him. Uh, when you do that, he immediately pulls the coin. Of the, no, 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 no it's, don't take it. It's I, my last coin. Oh no! Hey, 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 now, brother. And I'm gonna uh, palm the drink over to him. I'm not I'm not here to to rob you or none of that. He sniffs. Oh God! Is that shine? Yeah. Jesus! What you got? An iron stomach? Um, no, it's just, it's my nightcap before, uh... Oh, fuck. I, I leave. I figured, you know, after losing everything I got except for my exit costs... Oh, you too? It's a, it's a devilish place this is. Well, uh, I now guess... Now this, hey, brother, what's your name, brother? It's, uh, Clarence. All right, Clarence. This is a, sh- a sip and shine. You don't want to just take this back. You'll end up at Doc Brown's. I- is it? Yeah. Do you want? Is it a sip and shine? It's a sip and shine. Oh, I don't know. I, I've. <laughs> Have you ever had shine? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You sip on it. You don't take it all at once. Okay. You'll end up at Doc Brown's with all kinds of medicine problems. Okay. Most people I've seen try and sip it just throw up immediately. <laughs> This is the highest quality ship and shine they got here. Okay. What's your story, man? Where where are you from? Uh, he sips it. He's just like, <laughs> oh god, it burns. Okay, all right. Well, hold on now, brother. <gasps> what do you normally drink? I just get a beer. All right. Uh, gobla. Oh uh, no, nope. goblox is a turkey I once knew. <laughs> uh, goblin. Yeah. Uh, get this man an ale. And here's uh, two more. Pop it quick for him. Okay. And he slides the beer over to. Oh, and he, uh, he guzzles players. it down quickly. No, no, no. That's. Hold on. Hey, I got. Uh, hey, where oh, where are you from, brother? Oh, me. I... First off, Dan, what kind of describe Clarence for me a little bit? Uh, it looks like a half elf. Okay. Uh, clothes appear to be. You know what you would you would stand fairly standard for like uh, somebody who would wrestle cattle. You'd okay. Say. Clearance rack, Clarence. Yeah, clearance <laughs> rack, Clarence. And you notice that, like I said before, he's very sweaty. His clothes are very ragged. Uh, he's constantly like readjusting things. Um, like either his clothes don't fit very well, or it's just like very itchy or something. You're not quite sure. Um, Is he high on coke? Turkey pox? Uh, I mean, he doesn't. You're not sure if he's high on coke, but he's very twitchy. But that could also be the fact that he's desperate uh, and only on one, For cocaine. Still, one gold. <laughs> That's fair. Who's got coke? So, I mean, what's your story now, brother? Well, you know, standard. Came out west trying to make a new life for ourselves ever since. Uh, well, I don't want to talk about it, but. Um, no, here. We came, we came out west. This is. Uh, this to, is a to safe, raise cattle. safe space. You can no, let's you, talk about it loudly. <laughs> no, well, I mean, we're 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 having our own little conversation, but I mean, you don't got to be bullish. I look around for Bessie May. You don't got to be bullish. You can you can. I can't I can't say it in here, man. Well, here, let me tell you about me. My name is Willie. I'm a, a hill dwarf from okay. Schenectady. Oh, nice to meet you, Willie. Nice to meet you, too. I got a pet chicken, so, I, 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 you know, I'm just like you, just nomadically wandering around, just trying to fit in somewhere. Well, I'm not nomadically wandering around. I came here specifically to try and make my money back. So why would you come to, why would you come to Tombstone? This place is just full of horrors and terribleness. Well, our... our we raised cattle not far away from here, but they got stolen, so I didn't have the money to buy more cattle, so 
Came so you town, took what was left on the ranch and tried to gamble your way back into succession. Was, was hoping that you know the gods would look kindly upon me and you know be able to just, just sort of make my way back that way. You know. Well, I mean, who do you have an understanding on who has stolen your cattle? I, I got, I got some ideas, but I don't, I don't know for certain. I didn't see them. Well, I mean, it probably. I don't know. I, I don't know much in this world. Was it uh, the uh, atrocity and the the gangs that work under Smiling Tom? Ah, uh, and like uh, you roll perception. <laughs> Twelve. Okay, roll me a stealth. It's a twelve. Okay, uh, you weren't super quiet when you said that and like you notice that your surrounding area got quieter (gasps) after you said it i can feel the air rush out of the room he's like ah he probably should leave it to tom allen i mean he's and i'll 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 talk a little bit louder Uh uh-huh i mean he's just a good honest uh entrepreneur trying to do what's good as I look around at everybody, oh, yeah, and everyone's, yeah, yeah. everyone's mm-hmm, shaking mm-hmm, their mm-hmm. head while yep, glaring. Yep, yep. I mean, yeah. this place was a wasteland before old St. came down here and, and blessed every, you know, mm-hmm, all these mm-hmm. small towns with his entrepreneurness. Yep. Uh, yeah, you gotta be, dude. Be careful what you say. You know what? God, I didn't realize that the You're record fucking... scratch was gonna happen right Jeez. when I said St. Well, you can't. You can't say. Well, let's talk in code then. So, do you believe that St. is the reason no, for your? No, he wouldn't give two shits about my. So, who stole cow. your cows? I mean, honestly, I think it was old, uh, old George Willoughby. George Willoughby. Now, what do you know about old George Willoughby? He's in. He's got the neighboring cattle farm. So why? I mean, is he like a a big time cattle wrestler, like big? Big shot, or is he just stealing yours to to? Uh, I mean, he didn't like that we bought up the land next to his, and we're doing the exact same thing he does, which is well. I cattle. mean, that's capitalism, right? It's a f- oh free and open market. Yeah, well, tell that to fucking George Willoughby. I will if I ever see him. Well, I hope you never do, because he's always carrying around a shotgun. And he's very twitchy. I mean, do we have to go out and just? Kill Will a bee? You wh- what? I mean, have you tried reasoning or talking to him? Well, fucking, of course I've tried to talk to him. So what? He's got protection from the 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 brothers here, the the brother the casino. Uh, I mean, he he definitely throws some uh, some change their way, and then some cattle whenever they need it. So I mean, you know, he de- he definitely has the favor of the brothers here. I would say, the like, brothers skim milk. <laughs> From so, George, right. <laughs> what do you know? Milk off the top. What, what do you know about these brothers that run this clams casino? <laughs> fucking. Hey, lower your voice. He's just like looking around. He's like, fucking rob you blind as soon as fucking look at you. Well, that, I was Corrupt I was wondering because like, I I've been like just observing, and it seems like even though the house is supposed to win. A That's percentage of a time, they they seem to be bringing in a little bit more wins than they normally yeah. should. People always keep coming because they just figure out. Oh, <laughs> hey, and I point down. I, I wish I could. My God, I'm stopped up right now. Jesus, I mean, you should get that looked at by Doc. I've Brown. been looking at it all <laughs> afternoon. You probably get that taken care of. Well, Doc Brown uh, was quite impressed with it, and he told me that I'd be <laughs> fine. Oh, he took my quote on an <laughs> advertisement poster. All right. Advertisement for what? So you got like, well, uh, Mulk. Mulk? Yeah, it's this this uh, <laughs> Mook Mulk. <laughs> mook Milk? No, not Milk. It's Mulk. Mulk. All right. M-O-L-K? What, yeah. What is what is Mook Mulk? Anything you want it to be, brother. It can, uh, What's that mean? It can uh, help It not you. only moves, but it can remove. Does it, <laughs> does it give a- uh, You looking up that? Does it give so, luck? Yeah. Like if I drink some of this Mook Mulk, will I, will I be lucky? Pause. I mean, you'll, pause for the... you'll you'll be lucky, you'll be plucky, you'll be anything you want to be as long as you step right up. It shakes, it bakes, it makes you come snakes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to come snakes. Uh, that sounds don't painful. Don't se- settle for less, you know, than milk. It can uh, 
it can, it, you know, it's the right fillet. It will chop. It will dice. It will slice. It will never stop. What? Last you a lifetime. It mows your lawn. That's right, brother. It will mow your lawn. I'm very confused. It will on pick what this up the is. kids from school. It will get rid of unwanted facial hair. It will get rid of what? embarrassing age spots. It will deliver a pizza. I don't. What? What? It's an actual it, slap chop ad. It is. Like, what is it? It's moke. Yeah, but what? But it's what the is the new mulk? craze? Like, do you eat it? Do you drink it? Do you rub it on? Do you do you just hit people with it? Like, what is a mulk? The big what text like? giveth, and the small text taketh away. What does that it will mean? get rid of your gambling debts. It, it will help you quit smoking. It is your friend. Anything. It is your companion. It is the only product you will ever need. If you got faults, defects, or shortcomings, you know, like arthritis, rheumatism, migraines, whatever your part of the body is, say it I want you to. If you've got faults, he just wheels over. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're all on the same track. Yeah. He just wheels over. Yeah. If you've got faults, defects, or shortcomings, you know, like arthritis, rheumatism, or migraines, whatever part of your body is, you just lay it in the mulk and let the vibes flow through. The mulk not only moves, it can remove, dig. You know about mulk, too? Yeah. The desired effect is what you get. It will get rid of blackheads, heartbreak, and pastoralism. Christ, you don't even know the meaning of heartbreak, buddy. Come on. Get some mulk in your life. That, that seems like it does a lot of things. It, we got jackpots. Jackpots galore. Jackpots. Well, where can I get some of this mulk? Uh, Doc Brown. Oh, okay. I, does he have some right now? Dennis, give me a second. What's this guy's name? Uh, Clarence? Clarence. Yeah. So you want it to be a pyramid scheme? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Mulk will cater any of so it. Weddings, graduations, so horse here's... funerals, <laughs> drug interventions, Tuesdays, <laughs> horse funerals, a quiet night alone, the return of Jim, or the anniversary of a horse funeral. I mean, he, you you got it, buddy. Now listen, listen real quick. I okay. mean... I'm listening. Got an opportunity. <laughs> I have an opportunity that... Is worth a lifetime and could save your ranch and your family. I, okay, I'm looking I'm at you. You seem like a family man. I I do have a family, a, a <laughs> wife and uh, three kids. That's right, buddy. Uh, now look, if you will take this sample milk, you could take this sample milk just as a good gesture of faith, and uh, go down to Doc Brown's. And what what he'll do is he'll give you. Uh, some 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 vials to sell, and if you get twenty five of your friends to sell these vials, <laughs> then what he'll do is he'll up level you from the bottom of level four all the way to level three, and then you'll have a team selling this mulk underneath you. It's an oppor- it's an opportunity <laughs> to change your <laughs> life. And you come on, come on. You got to step right up, son. And you won't have to tell your family that you gambled their Moltra fast. You won't have to tell your family that you've gambled away your future. Jenny Mol. It, con- <laughs> it creates household orders. It disinfects. It sanitizes for your protection. It gives you an erection. It wins you the election. Mulky K. <laughs> I mean, all right. I guess I'll go over to Doc Brown's. I don't. I don't know if I know 25 people, but I could probably wrangle up some. I if, mean, if there's this, thousands. Is this, you said this makes good money? I, I mean, look at me. You said you lost. You said you, you're out and of And I'll, I'll put down a, um, I'll take out my uh, my gold pouch, okay. and I'll just shake it in front of him. Well, why'd you tell me you, you lost everything? I didn't know if I could trust you yet to have you part of this entrepreneurial- Mulk venture. Mulk family. <laughs> the Mulk family. <laughs> <laughs> this oh you mean this? You get Sorry, a, sir. You get a this pink is, horse if this you sell is my too milk much. money. <laughs> <laughs> That's not for gambling. <laughs> this is just what I have collected already today by selling this fine milk. It's a sure thing. Milk money. Milk money. Milk money. Huh. Say it three times fast. He just did. There you go. Uh, all right. Well, I guess you know what? I'll keep my one gold coin and I'll go over to Doc Brown's and I'll I'll, I'll I'll see if I can't get 25 people to, to also sell. You know what? Well, drop drop my name to the old Doc Brown, and he'll be able to... Willie, you said? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's William Kanaski. William Kanaski. Yeah, now look, just tell him that you talked to old Willie, okay. and you saw the ad 
and you're okay. ready to invest. All right. And he, he just skedaddles out of the building quickly. Now, look. <laughs> I kind of want to get that one gold out of Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, okay, okay. Never mind. He skedaddled. Normally, there's a registration fee with M MLMs. Yeah. No, no, no. Wait, 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 sir. Oh, uh, yeah? <laughs> just to make sure that you're serious, because I don't want to just give you uh, this hot business tip willy-nilly. <laughs> Willy Philly, really. Well, I think there, there's. I gotta make. How, how are you gonna show me that you are serious about about joining our organization? I was literally about to go over there and well, do it. Well, he's closed right now. You know, even the do good doctor's got to sleep. Okay, so go. I'll go over in the morning. I need a little bit of a registration fee to know that you are part. This is my last gold. Why not invest in your future? But like. How yeah. am I going to feed my kids? I'm telling you, if, you, if you're going to be there right in the morning as things open up and the sun is shining and the roosters are crowing, there's no better time to invest in your family and your future than right now. Haven't you been listening? With Malk money. Roll persuasion. I'm going to need a cut of that. <laughs> 19. And he very reluctantly hands over his last gold piece. He's like, all right. Clink. Clink. <laughs> Clarence, <laughs> welcome to your brighter future. Th thanks. And he gives you he gives you a tip of the hat, and then he, he moseys on out of the building. And I flick <clears throat> that one gold over to uh, to the goblin. Thanks. No, thank you. That's a pretty you. good scam you got going on. It's not a scam, sir. Why? Are you trying to make some quick money? I can send people mm. your way. I think we can work something out. Now, what do you know about the brothers here? <gasps> Basically, you, he tells you that the brothers came into town about three years ago. Um, at that point, it was mostly... It wasn't very much of anything uh, as far as the town goes. They came in... Uh -huh. They basically shot the previous owner on the spot, <laughs> took him out, built up this new casino, yeah. and they've somehow been driving in business constantly so that the town kept growing and growing and growing. Uh, so now it's like fifth biggest uh, city in the uh, the area. But who's financing them? But Smile and Tom, obviously. Oh, that's right. He's, I knew he's one that. of Smile and Tom's... Uh, or they are one of Smile and Tom's uh, main people, and they make sure that the train goes through. And the uh, train always makes a stop, gets stuff, lets stuff go, moves on to the next stop. So it pretty much all the profits from the casino, except for uh, finances needed to run this place, just get loaded up on that, that train and, and shipped right off to old good ST. Yeah. It's good enough for me. That's that's everything seems like it's on the up and up. And then uh the only other thing he mentions is that um there's one portion of the train where the train doubles as a prison car. Yuma has a uh basically it's a prison, but mostly it's like a a work prison where they just throw people in there to do um Manual labor, Ma yeah, for mining Rock and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, so he doesn't have to like pay for it. Well, I uh, thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoy your gold. Hey, but I got diarrhea, and I gotta leave. Well, I also had the buffet. <laughs> clams yeah. Casino. I thought it would, it wouldn't run through. I wouldn't eat the clams. I, I already had a handful of them. So, and uh, I'm gonna stroll out of the old casino. Uh, you notice as hey. you stroll out of the yeah the j the guy puts a hand on your shoulder. Hey, where's my money? <laughs> I got your money for you. You better. But have you thought about <laughs> investing into an opportunity so you don't have to shake down? What's my intelligence score? Uh, or wisdom, uh, I guess. Because even dumb people don't do MLMs. You should meet my sister. It's a even so plus Just a straight zero. roll. Yeah. <clears throat> Got a f I'm, I've often thought about the future and how I don't have enough money. Well, what I can do for you is that $2 <laughs> that I was going to give you to leave here, yeah. I'm going to invest into uh, this magic mulk. What's magic mulk? And I give him the whole low down, skull down. Is that a persuasion then? Yeah. Again? Yeah, because I'm interested. You got the hook. Yep. Now, tell, sure. Do a persuasion roll. 19. Fuck you. 
18. God. Wow. Now, when you get off work tomorrow, you just head on down to Doc Brown's. Tell him that you talked to Willie and you saw the advertisement, and we'll get you started. And I got I got the Founders Pack, you said? The Founders Pack is going to cover you with this two gold. And, uh, you know, all you got to do is get 25 of your friends to uh, also invest. Well, I'll just charge people the door here. They, I mean, that sounds... Yeah. That, you know what, sir? You are in the most perfect opportunity. Yeah. You know, it's, because now you're double dipping. Not only do you, in, mulk out. Yeah. Not mm-hmm. only do you have uh, <laughs> the people that you need to charge to get out, yeah. but also you can then tell them and to educate them on how to also invest to make more money. And anyone that comes in and says they're going to owe me, then they got to push my malt. That's right. Or I'll break their fucking legs. It's, uh, literally, <laughs> you are already fast tracking to level two. Like, normally people start at level five and yeah. have to work their way up. I like Black what you're- Clarence. <sighs> I mean- He's, to be, a, he's a sucker. He, to be honest, he'll probably <laughs> never get out of level five, but I see good, bright things in your future, All sir. Right. All right, I'm going to Doc Brown's as soon as I get off work at five thirty in the morning. All right, and uh, I'm gonna go back to the sleepy horatorium where uh, Bessie May and uh, Ned are probably now waking up. Hey, that's a. Oh, so you're getting there in the morning, or are you going? Well, to I figured sleep? I was in the casino all night. <laughs> okay, right. So yeah. Uh, so all three of you were sort of waking up at the same time. Never went to bed. Never went to bed. Nope. You're doing great. Oh, hey, man. Willie looks wired. Do I still I'm have excited. my erection? Roll me a that's con like a, That's check? like a real high DC at this point. <laughs> but you are a dwarf. That's a 19. Yeah. Wow. It's still still there. Hey, Willie. did you get lucky? It's, it's actually painful right now. You've had it for well over four hours. Do you want to pay someone to take care of it's that? It's been almost 12. We're at the right place. I, I, I've been trying to, but I just can't concentrate to, to get rid of It's been a night, gentlemen. Uh, but I have a oh, good... Business opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I have made some real connections, and I've, I, I've gotten some intel from a couple of the local... Uh, people here <laughs> Saps. about Spable. what's going on. All right. Tell us all about it while we walk to Doc Brown's. Uh, yeah, so, I got to give him my morning milkies. Well, <laughs> as you walk towards Doc Brown's, there is uh, quite the line of about 50 people oh, wow. out the door waiting, and they're all very chitty chatty and excited. Oh. Uh, Fuck. As you well, all walk over to well, Doc I, no, Brown's. No, no, This is good. Is this that the is milk good. mother? <laughs> the mother brood? The milk The milk maker. Mother? Good it's the milk maker. We I'm, didn't want to make waves in this town. Now I feel like I'm going to be the source of attention. <laughs> no. You're the source of something. I, I, I put my cloak on, DM. Okay. Now, now look. Your Holocaust cloak? Bessie book? May. Yes. I have started a revolution. For help. <laughs> that will better this town and you and your wallet. <laughs> he believes it. I just need to get in there and talk to Doc Brown. We all do. Well, we're already going to do that because I'm making milkies. We go around the back side. Yeah, I use the service entrance. Okay. So as you guys go around the back, uh, Doc Brown is basically freaking out in the building. Uh, never had so much business. There's yeah, never had so much business. What the hell? All of a sudden they want that they want that mook milk so bad. No, but they're talking about milk. Milk. We've rebranded it. Wait, you? Is this your doing? Uh, I mean, I may have talked to a couple people, but I have an idea that can really benefit you financially. And Doc as you Brown. start to talk to Doc Brown about this financial windfall possibility, that is where we're going to call it. So thanks for tuning in. Check us out next time. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Spotify, TikTok, Reddit, and Twitch at Botch Podcast. This episode of Botch was brought to you by the Patreon producers, the OG Lone Ranger, Big Jim, the Nuck, Lord Chronic, Skinner, B-Mail, God King Shanda Panda. Shave her. Razor. Lost Limey, Scabby Goose, Zucari, Disgruntled Furniture, Chris Wisdom, and Bread 2287. I was also going to go with Crave Her. You want to support the show? You can do so on many different stupid websites. 
FreedomValleyHorseBase.com, DickBlood.me, DickBlood.club, CornHub.ICU, SexWithWookies.com, PigRickets.com, or simply Patreon.com slash BotchPodcast. $3 gets you into the Discord. $5 a month gets you... Bonus episodes twice a month. Boner episodes. So thank you to our newest patrons, Lost Limey. Hey, welcome back, Ooh. baby. Nope, first time. Really? Really? Yep. Uh, you want to support the show but can't do it financially? Then head on over to whatever podcatcher you use, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or whatever the other ones are, and leave us a five-star review, and Chonky Kong will read it live on the show. Probably well drunk. Thank you to Gozer for intro and outro music. More of them all over the internet at Gozer underscore music, or you could simply listen to them on Spotify as Gozer. Like a normal fucking person. You want to send something to the studio? You can do so over at P.O. Box 3178, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, 17325, and we'll open it up here on stream. After we call the Bomb Squad. And thank you to Emily Squan. I almost said squad. Squad. Emily Squan. 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 Emily Squan. 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 Thank you to Emily Squan for our album art. She is all over the internet at Squan. a squan called Emily. And Dude. as always... When Wait. you become the unwilling face of a multi-level marketing scheme <laughs> and you're not sure how the fuck you're going to come up with all the milkies needed to fill up all these sacks, <laughs> scream botched, <laughs> and we'll milk you. We'll see you next time, nerds. Oh, that was good. <laughs> that was real good. Fucking so stern. here's my plan. <laughs> what the fuck? We're going to make synthetic milk. So that we uh, gotta cut the milk. Yeah, we like gotta gamer cut water. girl bath water. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna cut. We're gonna cut the milk so that we're not sitting here milking you constantly. <laughs> and I'll send you a picture of me and yeah, Desi May from, with a th- thumbs up. <laughs> yep. For the- the, the milk, jar. and then we'll come out with Malk Plus, because it's because he's Malk Crystal, which is just water. <laughs> Malk Zero. Malk Zero. <laughs> this is great. We're gonna be so rich. Crystal Malk. Crystal Malk. <laughs> <laughs> Diet Malk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just laxatives, yeah. so you lose weight as you as you drink no, it's, milk. It's just filled with eggs of worms. Oh gosh. Oh my God. I have a plan. I I literally have a plan. So. Thanks so much. So, Dennis, why don't you thank the people here in chat? We'll do. Make sure you refresh before you go. How do I? I'll refresh chat. We already did it. I could be reading. <laughs> Another TV viewer, Commander Root, Deloop. One. Deloop one. Einfakui42. Imaginary roommates, Queen Hat and Valentina Alacaraz. Do you make him read it because he sucks at reading? Yeah. Is that why it's funny? <laughs> yeah. All How right. would you pronounce Einfakui42? Steve! 42? Where can people find you all over the internet? You can find me wherever you want it. He who is Steve. I might be naked. I would have said Ein Fuck Ooh 42 because it rhymes. Tristan. There's a we in there. It's Ein Fuck Ooh 42. Ein Fuck Ooh 42. <laughs> ein Fuck Ooh. Ein Fuck Ooh. Come inside. <laughs> ein Fuck Ooh. You can find me at twitch.tv slash chonky underscore Kong. Also all over social media. I'm the imaginary nope. I'm the imaginary nomad on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Spotify, TikTok, and Twitch. That's not true. That's the botch read. Uh, I'm imaginary <laughs> nomad on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram with a one. Snapchat if you want to get weird. Uh, we're streaming horror games all through October. Who are we? And uh, Dennis, congratulations on funding your Kickstarter. Hey. Thank you. Where can people find you and more about your book? Uh, world's most okay is DM on all your social media, but you can find my book stuff over at www.hiveheadstudios.com. Uh, soon I'll probably put up a pre-order link as well for anybody who missed the Kickstarter and wants to try and, you know, get in on that. And also patreon.com slash hiveheadstudios where I do sneak peeks into future books and then Charles and I do a podcast called Like and Subscribe. Like Lycan? L-Y-C-A-N. Like Like the moss? That's that's an I, I think. Steve, you're signed I'll into the botch account, right? I am. All right. So, everybody, we're going to raid into B-Mail. Wait, do we have a, a saluter? I don't think I we don't do. Think so. Because I refreshed the chat, I can't see it. No. <laughs> it, was, 
Yeah. Fuck him. Literally just Dennis. We salute you, Dennis. Hey! You are this week's Lone Sir Most Wanted. <laughs> lone <laughs> Lone uh, Wanted. Steve, you know how to, to raid into other places, yeah? I sure do. From the creator dashboard. Yes, Backslash raid. Yep. Channel name. I know how nope, to do it. Nope, I too. just click the button because I like gooey. Hey, what's this guest cam raiding? thing on Twitch I've seen on my uh DAW? Nope. Starting raid! Okay. Nine, eight, seven, Blah. five, four. This is how you do it, Kurt. Is Kurt here? He was. Nope, he was. Raiding. Oh, B Bell. Yeah, we're going to raid into B Bell. Is he doing Resident Evil 2? He always uh, does. Right up, right up against us. 